Good evening and thanks for staying up late with us. I'm Phil Anaya. The gruesome murder of a shirts businessman remains unsolved and tomorrow Christmas Eve marks three years since the brutal killing of Henry Gutierrez. Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos spoke with the victim's son and has this report. It isn't easy for Miguel Gutierrez to talk about. I mean, it's, just, it's, it's hard to put into words what 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 we've been through. He misses his dad, Henry. The holidays just aren't the same because it is a painful reminder. You know, we're waiting. We're waiting for an answer. And, you know, every day uh, we hope that that answer comes. The Gutierrez family, along with police, still don't know who killed the 71 year old at his home on Christmas Eve three years ago. Miguel won't forget that day. Then checked inside the house and, and found him there and shot to death in his easy chair. He says Henry lived an interesting life and does believe the killer knew his dad. Successful businessman, so you never know, you know, what, what kind of possible enemies he's got out there in the business world. He was involved in racing. I mean, they, he was a, a, a you know, seven-year-old bachelor with, you know, juggling a bunch of girlfriends. So, I mean, it, there was just a, just a, it's a, I mean, it's a complicated case. Faith in family is what has carried the Gutierrez's but three years later, they are still desperate for answers. You know, we're just hopeful that, um, you know, if they're watching that, you know, maybe they can put their put themselves in our place and, and just try to imagine what it's been like for us since he's been gone. I don't know that we're ever going to have any peace. You know, the holidays will always be terrible. But um, uh, maybe if somebody uh, somebody's held accountable, somebody can brought, you know, the people involved can be brought to justice, then, you know, maybe that would provide us a little bit of peace. Henry Ramos, KINS 5 Eyewitness News. Now, the family believes there are people in the area that know something about the case. They say even if it's a small detail, contact police. Guadalupe County Crime Stoppers is offering a $75,000 reward for information that leads to an arrest. And again, as always, you can remain anonymous.